Greetings, humans. It's me, Bob Harris, Senior Editor of Football Diehards. Uh, it's time for the Week 10 uh, Saturday Injury Preview, Review, Overview, Get You Up to Speed View thing that we like to do. Uh, so we'll get right with it. Go chronological, as always, so you can have an understanding for your options as you roll through the day trying to make decisions on your injured players. Todd Gurley going against the Jets. It's a tough run defense. He's listed as questionable with a thigh injury. Sounds like he'll play. Sounds like the Wednesday and Thursday absences were precautionary. Uh, he practiced fully on Friday, but it is a tough matchup. That offense not playing well. Other side of the ball, Ryan Fitzpatrick listed as questionable with the knee injury he suffered last week. He practiced on a limited basis all week, expected to play. Bryce Petty standing by. If not, that passing attack is kind of slumping a little bit either way. Kellen Davis ruled out there with an elbow injury tight end. For the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, going against the Chicago Bears at home. Uh, Tampa at home, that is. Or, yes, Tampa at home. Excuse me. Uh, Doug Martin listed as questionable, uh, coming off a hamstring injury, suffered in week two, suffered a setback in week seven. Uh, Dirk Cutter said on Friday night that he has not been officially cleared, that being Martin. Uh, sounds like a true game time decision. I wouldn't be trying to force him into the lineup. Jaquiz Rogers out, of course, with the foot injury. Anton Smith done for the year with a knee injury. That means Peyton Barber and Mike James are standing by as needed. Uh, we could see all three of those guys. We'll need to watch for the inactive announcements there. The other side of the ball. Oh, also, uh, Mike Evans has been fully cleared from his concussion. He'll play as usual. It's a pretty good matchup for the passing attack as well there. Uh, Russell Shepard has been ruled out with, uh, with a hip injury too, so keep that in mind. Other side of the ball, Eddie Royal is listed as questionable. He's missed the last two games with a toe injury. Worked on a limited basis all this week. Good matchup for the Bears passing attack too as well. For Green Bay at Tennessee, James Stark listed as questionable. Could return this week. Uh, remember, he wasn't good before he was hurt. He was averaging 1.8 yards per carry, but he'd certainly uh, limit Ty Montgomery's touches if he can get in a full week, a full game. So that's something you need to you need to watch the late breaking updates for I'll be looking for more on that Jared Cook's been ruled out or his doubtful uh, all but certain not to play with his ankle injury he hasn't played since week two another week of Richard Rodgers and then maybe Cook returns uh, Randall Cobb removed from the injury report and Mike McCarthy said he's ready to put in a full game after he only played the second half last week uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs going against the Carolina Panthers in Carolina uh, Jeremy Macklin has been ruled out with a with a, the groin injury that limited him to two plays last week so uh, Albert Wilson Chris Conley Tyreek Hill move up in the in the pecking order there uh, Spencer Ware is back he's fully uh, cleared from his concussion so he will play as usual uh, and Travis Kelsey could be a good play in this one as well. For the Atlanta Falcons, Tevin Coleman has been ruled out. Jacob Tammy has been ruled out. Another full load for Devonta Freeman, uh, Levine Toilolo, and more interestingly, Austin Hooper will fill in a tight end in this one. Brett Selleck on the other side of the ball is a fractured rib. He's listed as questionable, but expected to play. It's not displaced fracture. For the Houston Texans, uh, Lamar Miller and Alfred Bloom both removed from the injury report, shoulder and ribs respectively. Miller's been playing through his injury since he hurt in Denver two weeks ago. Will Fuller listed as questionable with a knee injury. Uh, he'll be a true game time decision. Jalen Strong, ankle been ruled out. The other side of the ball, Alan Hearns uh, coming back from a concussion listed as questionable. We still don't know if he has final clearance. That'll have to come closer to the game time. Uh, we do know Brian Walters has been ruled out with his concussion fellow receiver. Uh, Deshaun Jackson listed as doubtful with a shoulder injury. Had an MRI on Thursday. They say there's no structural damage but he's all but certain not to play. Uh, maybe Jamison Crowder comes a little more interesting going against a tough Minnesota defense. Remember Rob Kelly starts for Matt Jones in that game as well so uh just a coach's decision not an injury related laquan treadwell on the other side of the ball got to his first work you know as, as last season for significant work and now he's questionable with a hamstring injury uh the late afternoon kickoffs carlos hyde listed as questionable uh with the same shoulder injury to the sideline of the last three weeks including the bye uh, Dewan Harris standing by. Sounds like Hyde is closer. It's a tough matchup. You'll want to watch this one closely going into the game. Torrey Smith also questionable with a back injury that limited him last week as well. For the Miami Dolphins, Jarvis Landry listed as questionable with the shoulder. Kenny Stills questionable with his uh, calf injury. It sounds like Landry will try to play through his injury. This has become a run first team though. Landry's targets have gone down a little bit because J.I.J.I. is whooping ass. Um, Deion Sims listed as questionable coming off a concussion. He was expected to be cleared. Um, this one looks a little dicey. Marquise Gray also has an ankle injury. Dominique Jones might be the guy to watch. On the other side of the ball, Tyrell Williams listed as questionable. Expect him to play with a knee. Uh, Hunter Henry listed as questionable coming off a knee injury. He's expected to play. Travis Benjamin with his knee injury. Didn't practice all week. He's listed as doubtful. Antonio Gates off the injury report. Jeremy Butler, a newly signed receiver, has been ruled out with his uh, ankle injury as well. For the Dallas Cowboys, Des Bryant is questionable. Practice fully all week. He will play on his knee 
uh, as he has the last three games. Tony Romo could be the backup. He practiced fully all week, listed as questionable. Decision on that coming soon, um, but nobody should worry if they're Dak Prescott owners at this point. For the Pittsburgh Steelers, D'Angelo Williams, Darius Hayward Bay, Marcus Wheaton with knee, foot, and shoulder injuries ruled out. Uh, Williams will miss two to three weeks after having surgery. There's no timetable for Hayward Bay. The, their absence of Wheaton and Hayward Bay means that guys like Eli Rogers and Sammy Coates might actually have to catch a ball. Uh, for the Sunday night game, uh, Krista Michael turned up as questionable on on Friday. That's not good. He's got a hamstring injury. C- injury. CJ Procise of interest. Thomas Rawls ruled out there as well. Julian Edelman questionable with his foot. He'll play. Martellus Bennett questionable with his ankle. He'll play. Uh, Chris Hogan. He's a concern. He came turned up with a back injury on uh, Friday. He'll get treatment right up through kickoff. Game time decision. Uh, for Monday night, Victor Cruz listed as questionable with an ankle injury. Hasn't practiced all week. Don't expect him to play. Uh, Roger Lewis and Dwayne Harris are going to get more play time, even when Cruz is healthy. So there we have it. Uh, keep an eye on the late breaking updates page so you can get all the latest information that you need and uh, and hit football diehards often and regular. Thanks. <laughs>